Hello and welcome back to the channel guys. Today we are taking a look at the UC Davis Aggies roster and their season one schedule breakdown. Hope you guys have had a great week. I know I am looking forward to the weekend myself. Well, let's get ready to this and take a look at the offense for the Aggies. Quarterback Owen Black, 6'2", 170, athletic. Halfback Lito Lozano, 5'11", 190, is a raw talent. Another halfback here, Tyreek Taylor, 6'3", 242 pounds. Kind of reminds me of a Brandon Jacobs type. Wide receiver Jaquan Brown, 5'9", 170. And to round out the offense, we have another wide receiver, Sam Gatlin, who is 6'5", 220 pounds, and he's a smart wide receiver build. So they've only got one quarterback, so no controversy here. But we will have a halfback battle in the spring game with Lozano and Taylor duking it out to see who will get the number one halfback spot. And we're also going to see which wide receiver wants the number one wideout spot as well. Well, that is going to do it for the offense. Let's take a look at the UC Davis Aggies defense for Season 1. Defensive end, Demarcus Webb, 6'4", 270. Defensive end again, they go with Andrew Jackson, 6'5", 278 pounds. Defensive tackle, Caleb Chubb, 6'3", 375 pounds. Outside linebacker, Elijah Christian, 6'2", 190. Middle linebacker, Zachary Hyde, 6'4", 257. Free safety, Trey Henry the third, And that is it for the players for the UC Davis Aggies. This defense is stacked and really well built. The only thing that's going to hold them back or hurt them at all is not having any corners. So they might get torched on the outsides, but maybe Trey Henry will get in there and help out the secondary as best as he can and try to cover as many people as he can at once. But I, I really like the team build here. Uh, the only thing that's going to hurt them on offense is not having any offensive linemen. But I like their defense. It's a really well-built defense. So I think that's going to help them a lot, especially in the Pac-10, because we've seen other rosters in the Pac-10 with a lot of offensive firepower. So I think having three defensive linemen is just going to wreak havoc on the other Pac-10 quarterbacks. Well, let's take a look and see who is going to be the head coach of the UC Davis Aggies for our dynasty. He is a graduate of UC Davis. He is a college football Hall of Fame member and a first round draft pick by the New York Jets. He had an 11 year NFL career throwing for over 25,000 yards, 126 touchdowns, and out of 68 perfect passer rating games in NFL history, he has two of them. He was also an assistant coach at USC when Carson Palmer won the Heisman Memorial Trophy. And the head coach is Ken O'Brien. Having a former quarterback as your head coach should definitely help out for Owen Black and this passing attack for the UC Davis Aggies. Let's go ahead and take a look at their season one schedule and see how they will do in year one. And this is one of the cleaner schedules out of all of our subscriber teams. And what I mean by that is they have their four non-conference games right in a row. And then the remainder of their schedule is all conference play here in the Pac-10. Well, let's take a look from the top down. Game 1, the UC Davis Aggies start their season hosting the Texas State Bobcats out of the Sun Belt Conference. Game 2, they host the Citadel Bulldogs out of Conference USA. Game 3, they got a tough away game against the 9th ranked Nevada Wolfpack out of the WAC. Game four, another tough away game. This time they're taking on the 24th ranked New Mexico State Aggies. And that game I'm going to call the Aggie Bowl. New Mexico State is from the WAC Football Conference. Game number five is a subscriber game as they take on the Northern Colorado Bears in Colorado. Game six, they host the Portland State Vikings. Game seven, they host the Sacramento State Hornets. Game number eight, they travel out to Idaho to take on the Idaho State Bengals. Game nine, another subscriber game here as they travel to take on the San Diego Toreros. 
Game 10, they host the Eastern Washington Eagles. Game 11, Senior Day, final home game of the season for the Aggies. They host the Northern Arizona Lumberjacks. And Game 12, this is a tough game for them. They travel out to Southern Utah to take on the Thunderbirds and their 85,000 seat stadium. So the Aggies have really five tough games on the schedule. The two ranked opponents and the three subscriber schools. So that could be five losses there. It could be five wins. Who knows? There's always a chance for a crazy game and a crazy upset in college football. But I do not see them winning the two ranked games against Nevada and New Mexico State. So those will be two losses, I think. And I just, I think maybe eight or nine games is the most likely uh, win record for the UC Davis Aggies in season one. Because these subscriber games, they could go either way. And my final prediction, I think they will be eight and four to end the regular season and get a bowl game to go play another big conference team. I will see you guys tomorrow with the VMI Cadets. Season 1 Schedule Breakdown and Roster Reveal Video. Until then, take it easy guys.